you know, sorry I feel like Stevie Breach, making 45 videos a week. Yeah, man, I don't know how you do this, you know. This is only like my sixth video in a row I've been doing. I've made a video every day since Saturday, or I think Saturday or Friday, one of the two, I don't know. I can't keep up with all the videos I'm making. I don't know how you do it, Breach. That's why I've been drinking a lot of soda in my videos, because it's tiring me out. Anyways, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Pro wrestling, this entire week's been making me talk about pro wrestling. Like, if I don't want to talk about it, I'll read something that makes me want to talk about it. Uh, today was Comic Con, and at Comic Con in San Diego, uh, was Triple H, Rey Mysterio, and uh, Bret Hart appearing there. Uh, you know, I think they were doing autographs. I know Mysterio and Bret Hart were doing autographs, but I don't know what Triple H, I think he was just there to be there. And uh, supposedly, CM Punk just happened to show up. Now, links to the article and the video will be in the description box down there, so if you want to check it out, check it out. CM Punk appears, and he basically, to sum it all up, he goes, that whoever wins the title on Monday, whether it be Mysterio or Miz, that he's challenging him to come to Chicago to face him for the title because he's a real champion. Blah blah blah. Then he asks Triple H, "Why isn't Zack Ryder on TV?" <laughs> and you know Triple H like ignores him. He's like, you know, a new regime, regime, whatever the fuck the word is. You know what I mean? Um, is going on now that Vince is gone, and that you know, if Punk wants to talk to Triple H, all Punk's gotta do is call Triple H, and Punk goes, I'm pretty sure Stephanie has my number, so you can call me, which was just hilarious. But overall, everyone who said the storyline happened on Monday Night Raw was stupid and pointless. This has you looking like a complete idiot. It's CM Punk. I told you the storyline of CM Punk is not over. Everyone's saying, man, they had a CM Punk storyline started super storyline with Vince and Triple H. Um, pretty sure CM Punk storyline is still continuing considering he just confronted Triple H, the new owner of the WWE. So, everyone who's saying storyline is stupid, yeah, you're dumb now because what just happened is going to continue and it's going to be epic. This whole storyline is epic. Just watch the video and watch the, read the article. CM Punk's the man. And all you bandwagoners who hopped on his bandwagon and cut that promo on Raw a few weeks ago, go fuck yourselves. You're not a true CM Punk fan. Just a bandwagoner. That's it. Do I have everybody's attention now?